Okay. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to Spotlight on Six Plus for Marillas. Please, can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Ethan O'Davis and I am training to be a pilot. Please, could you describe a day or a week in the life of a trainee pilot? So, a day in the life at the moment for me would consist of studying for my ATPL exams, which we do for about six to eight months. Once I've completed those, a day in the life would sort of be maybe two flights a day where I'd be progressing through different skills to kind of get to the end of my qualification then. So it's just a progression every day. What has your journey been to get to this point in your pilot training? Um, becoming a pilot became the thing I wanted to do quite late on in my life. So originally I wasn't 100% sure. I was kind of a bit nervous about making such a big step. So I did originally go ahead and go to Newcastle University in September 2018. After a couple of months there, I kind of realised I didn't want to carry on with my studies there. It wasn't what I was, it wasn't what I was striving for. So I left university and then my whole goal was kind of getting to be a pilot. So I worked for a year then, I took a year out, got some work experience and saved some money up as well. And then throughout that time as well, I did a lot of research on how to become a pilot and then that's how I got into it from there. So once you're fully qualified, what will, um, what will your job involve? When I'm fully qualified, I will hopefully be doing, I'm, I'm on a Ryanair mentorship at the moment, so I'm hoping that I'll get a job with Ryanair at the end of this. Um, obviously, with the way the industry is at the moment, it's kind of a bit all up in the air, but we'll see. Um, you usually have a road to where you'd be maybe five or four days on, and then three or four days off. So if you're, if I'm flying Ryanair, it'll be short haul, so I'd probably do maybe four flights a day, so you'd go to somewhere and back and then you go somewhere else and back. That's usually what it would be like in a day. So what skills and qualities would you say um, a pilot needs to be successful? Um, there's a variety of different qualities. Um, some people stress different ones. I would say a basic level of maths and physics is quite important because you will use that in your everyday life as a pilot. You need social skills because you're going to be sat next to one person for 12 hours or however long it's going to be. So you need to be able to just, you know, have a conversation with them, be able to communicate with them as well because at the end of the day you are, you know, looking after everyone else in the back of the plane. So you need to be able to communicate with that person. You need leadership. You need teamwork. Um, just kind of a, an all-round be able to, you know, communicate with cabin crew as well like it's not just going on the cockpit it's outside of the cockpit as well so yeah that's why I'd say this. So what would you say you enjoy most about training to be a pilot? Um, it's quite um, at the moment it's quite difficult to be enjoying every day because I'm just kind of at home studying but that feeling when I do get my exam results back is great and the last one I did get back were really good so I'm really happy with that um, but when I'm flying I mean it's kind of like a dream come true like I just get to go up on a plane every day and just see the world from up there so I mean it's hard not to enjoy it to be honest. Wow that sounds absolutely amazing. Um, so once you're quali fully qualified are there opportunities for career progression? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you could progress within an airline. So you would start off um, as a first officer or a junior first officer, then first officer, and you can then work up towards being a captain, which will consist of basically a lot of flying hours to get to there. Um, you could progress through going, changing to a different airline and doing long haul, which would be a completely different sort of set out for your day. You know, you'd be up in the air for the majority of it, whereas when you're doing short haul, you'd probably be half in the air, half on the ground. So um, there's a lot of progression in terms of long haul as well. Um, obviously, there is that sort of, um, everyone wants to become a captain, basically. 
at some point. So <laughs> there's, that's kind of like a goal. Brilliant. Um, and then finally, what advice would you give to your 15 year old self? Uh, well, my 15 year old self wouldn't have even thought I was going to be a pilot and that was only five years ago. So what I'd say to her now would be to explore the opportunities while I can, while, while having the comforts of being at home and being at school and there's not so much pressure, like explore the opportunities that there are to offer and find out what I do like because you can kind of float through it and not really find out what really interests you. But I think it is important to actually delve into that and find out really what interests you and what you want to do. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon and we wish you all the best for your exams. Thank you very much.